Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we're back on the Q-Tech world, and I'm back from my trip, and we're going to get started pretty quick here because it's, it's getting dark. We're going to have to sleep. But last time, if you recall, we did this automation over here, which is where it makes the HDPE sheets. Um, it makes the pellets, and when it gets three of these, it will make the sheets for us. And this is part of a process that we need to do for the next solar panel. Now, I'm going to look at that recipe to show you what we need and see what, how we're doing here. So if we look at the solar stuff here, here we go. Solar, we're trying to make the next level, which is the Signalum solar panel. And it takes these redstone solar panels, which we can make pretty easily, but it also takes a Signalum solar core. Now the solar core here takes HDPE sheets, as you just saw, we can make those, that's easy. We have Signalium, I keep saying Signalium, it's Signalum, and I have that being created here. You can see we've got plenty of that, so that's easy to do. So the biggest point we're going to have and trouble we're going to have, I guess, is the niotic crystals, okay? And we even have a recipe for that. But if you look at the niotic crystal, let's go back to this and show you, it actually takes diamonds, which we have, but it takes amethysts, and we don't have amethysts. And how do you get amethysts? Well, you can get ores if we can find the ore, but I have not seen any ores, and we've used the digital miner, and it did not produce any of these. So I don't think we have that. And we have, you know, crushing it, obviously. Or we have a possibility of getting it through strainers. So I think today we're going to work on getting the strainers. Let me make sure we don't have any amethyst ore in here. You can see we do not. So it did not produce any ores from the digital miner. So we're going to have to get some strainers. So we're going to today make a system for this. I want to have 16 strainers going. And each strainer will take an import and an exporter. So let's get a bunch of those right now. Let's get some importers. I want to have 16 of these. So... And you can see they were ran out of cable, which we can make that pretty easy too. There we go. It's seven of those, so we need a bunch more, like nine more. There's all of our importers. We also need exporters. Let's do that. We need 16 of these. Now, this is where it might get a little crazy. Hopefully, we'll find enough. There we go. Thankfully, we have all of this. Look at this. This is like, oh, you got rid of all my stuff. I'm going to make more of the processors for you. That is fantastic. Let's get that cabling there too. Or that's going to be good. Now, I said I wanted 16 of the strainers going. Let's go get the other strainer up here because we don't have to make 16 of these. We can make a little bit less once we have these. We're going to make our own little spot for all of this and have a nice little setup going so it'll gather all those resources. Hopefully, we'll get the niotic crystals. So we have here, we have two of these. No tool required. Good. Okay. So we have two. It means we need to have 14 more. So let's go get those done, and we'll create a space and get this kind of, like, set up, okay? I really need to make a proper door for this. Maybe I'll do that during a stream. Okay, so this is a strainer based right here, and it takes a bunch of chests, looks like, and sticks. Wow. Okay. So it's going to take chests and sticks and planks. So there we go. We have a bunch of that. We have three of these, right? Yes, we have three. So, how many chests do we have? Probably not enough chests. We have four. Let's get, uh, what do we need? We need, uh, what, do, I don't know, a bunch. <laughs> I guess we're going to need some more planks, some oak. There we go. Okay, we got a bunch of planks here. Now let's make some more strainer bases. And so we need a 16 of these. Any more chests, really? What I need, like six more chests? Yeah. Okay. And the strainer base. Here we go. Really? I need one more. <laughs> Chest. Okay. Now make the last strainer base. And this is make our 16 strainers. Okay. So there we got our basic setup here. And now we're going to make. The type of strainer that we're going to do is I'm going to make the reinforced one. There are various types, but the reinforced survival strainer has super amount of uses, so we don't have to refill it that often. 25% efficiency, and it is enchantable, but we probably won't be enchanting it. So what do we have to do to make this? This is actually kind of easy. It takes diamonds, which we have, and it takes an obsidian mesh, which is just obsidian. So let's grab that. 
And let's make one of these. I'm using this so that I have a thing to put into the uh, exporter and you'll see this in a minute. Let's create a space for this now. Um, looking out here, we could probably hook it up into this section over here, make like a little um, area that, let's go get some dirt. We'll make an area that we could use to have this set up, okay? So let's grab some dirt. Did all my dirt get all my dirt get did get exported into probably into this crafter down here? Uh, yeah. We'll grab some pieces of dirt. I won't need more than that. Why won't it let me? This thing is so messed up. Okay, we have that. Is it getting dark already again? No, it's noon. Okay, so if we have our little trough here, this will be where it is. We'll have, this will be like water here. I'm going to have two rows of eight. So we want to have eight spots here that are down. This is where the strainers will be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the water will go around here. We got some dirt. We'll have another like trough of these right here. Okay, and then we're going to have the water here inside this little space. Okay, I'm trying to get, get it laid out first so I know what I'm doing. Okay, so that's going to be there. Now, we're going to have basically the import line coming from underneath this and going over into uh, something over here. We'll try to figure that out in a minute. Probably coming right off of this pipe. Um, we'll have it go down right here. Yeah, that's good. So if we come off of this line, this will bring it to our storage system. That way the items will go in and out of our storage system the way we think. Um, hmm. Let's get the first one set up here so we know what we're doing. This will be from underneath. Actually, we're gonna have to... See, I'm thinking this as I go. We're gonna have to put the strainer in the water right here. And here. So it's going to go all along here. I know there's no water right now. There will be. Okay. And so from underneath, we're going to have to put in the importers and the exporters here. One, get rid of that one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Okay. There we go. Got to get this right and set up correctly for this system to work. So now on all of these, we want to have an importer coming from below. So we have to go up into it. And we don't care what it imports. It's going to import whatever it gets, whatever it finds. Okay. And we need to have an exporter going on. Uh-oh. Did I do this wrong? Can I put it on both sides? No. Oh, I got to move this over one. Okay. So that's first derp. Let's uh, get rid of all of these. Can I vein mine that? Yes. Awesome. Can I vein mine that? Awesome. We're going to have to go over a row here. I thought you could put them like side by side, but we need the exporter lines. So. Okay, so this should be right here. And then we have our uh, importers underneath. That's not an importer. Little bit of a derpage, guys. Where are the importers? That's it right there. Okay, so up. This will bring in the items. Awesome. And then we need to have exporters on all of these. That'll pull in the item or sorry, export out into there the mesh that we use. I need to get out of here before I uh <laughs> before I lock myself in. Oh boy. Um Make it look a little bit nicer before we get this done. There we go. And we have our exporter here. And we're going to have the line run across from probably from this spot right here. Where's my shovel? Why did my shovel get put up there? Did I do that? Tell me in the comments if I did that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go across here and... Excellent. Um, pillar up here. Okay. And 
Okay, so the system is hooked up to our storage, which is what we want. And there we have the barrier. We're gonna put another barrier wall here just so we can, um, and so the water doesn't get out. And is it getting dark? It will be getting dark. I'm gonna put another one here just to make it look a little better. And okay, so we now we just have to fill this with water, which I need my bucket for. So let's go get that. Um, and we gotta tell it what to export, and then we'll be okay. Let's grab a bucket. Bucket. Okay, we got three buckets. That works. We probably don't need these anymore on us. Okay. I'm thinking as I go, guys, this is the way it works. You know, you kind of like process it, think about it in your head, um, what you do, right? Now, we can probably, can we get out of here, water? Excellent. Sleep? No? Gonna, gonna sleep in a second. I know it's getting dark. I'm gonna drink some coffee a little ahead of time. Mmm. Coffee. Mmm. Delicious. Wakes me up. Okay, so we have the survivalist strainer. I want to make sure that I'm setting up the export system here on all of these to use this particular strainer. So each one of these I have to go in and click on it, right? That's really easy. It knows that that's what it needs to put out there. Obviously we don't have, and I know I missed one on the first spot. All you people tell me, you missed one, you missed one. Yeah, I know. Um, this will tell it to put to the re to these strainer bases reinforced survivalist strainers. And that way, when we have a bunch of these, we can just put them in our inventory and our storage system. It will export when needed. Oops, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> that's what will happen, though. It'll put those right there. And then we just fill this up with water, and it should be ready to go. Then we just got to make the strainers, and it will be fully functional. And then hopefully we'll get amethysts. And when we get amethysts, we will... Make Niata Crystals. Niata Crystals will make the thing we need for the uh, next solar panel. Okay, so there we have all of that. Okay, so now we have to fill this with water. And this will be a little bit tricky because we don't have like an infinite water source around here. But once we figure this out, it'll work better. Um, I need more water. <laughs> I wish I had like a puddle right here. I should get make one, shouldn't I? Let's do that. Let's make a an infant water source here. Um, do it right there, and we'll put one right there. Okay, and now we have an infant water source. Excellent. Okay, so let's put one here. Let's put another one here. Let's try to make this so it's all filled up with water. <laughs> well, takes a little bit of time, but we'll get it. Be nice if it would just fill up automatically and like you know how it does that sometimes. Little gap there. Water management is a pain sometimes. Have you ever done some of the old uh, iron farms and things when you had to put the water down and you realize that as soon as you put something down in the wrong spot, it would like mess up? And there we go. I think that's it. No more flowing water. Everything looks really good. So that's working fantastic. Um, let's fill this in. I don't need this hole anymore. I don't want to really fall into it. All right. So if we have, and see already it's trying to make these things, we're going to have to clean that up too. But you can see here we have our reinforced survivalist strainer. When I put this into the storage system, it should be exported out almost immediately and applied to one of the uh, strainer basis here. Let's just make sure it is and you can see it was and so this device is running right now I click on it. You can see it's going up something gets in the inventory real quick and It was a copper nugget and that should be pulled out by the importer should be um, Why isn't it? Why would it not be pulling out with the importer? The import. Oh, did I not hook up the importer lines? I did not hook up the importer lines. Let me go get some cables. Derp. That's a derp right there. Tinker derp. You guys know how that goes. Let's get some cable. And we don't need to put the buckets here anymore. Okay. 
little small snag here. We'll get this done. Going to go over here. Uh, let's go down. And so underneath each of these right here, these lines here, we need to run across here. You can see, it grab that and then grab that, and there it goes. Now it should be imported in, we hope. <laughs> Looking at this now, yeah, it did. So basically now this system is running. So we have to make some more of those reinforced um, straining things. So let's go on up here, on up here. <laughs> and we know we got diamonds. How much obsidian do we have? We have 104 obsidian. We need 15 more of the bases. So let's make this the uh, reinforced. We're trying to make this right there. We need 15 of these. So at least they're running. Okay, and then with that, we need 15 of these. And we just do that. Fun. Oh, duh. We have a lot of diamond gears, and we, now we don't have any diamonds. That is a bad derp. I'm going to have to do a, uh, another mining session somewhere else. Uh, and so we get more diamonds. Because <laughs> now we're not going to have any niotic crystals. Oh. Uh. But now these things are all running. You got 16 strainers just running like crazy. We should get amethysts. That's good. Now this is all messed up. You can see they're not working. I have to take a piece out. And it's like, oh, okay. Now it functions, right? Same thing with this. This system, I got to monitor a little bit. So we'll see. And then... Oh. I got to take another diamond out, right? There it goes. And see that I don't know why the system isn't working right here on these two. Interesting. I don't know. That seems to be like not working right. <laughs> but we'll put those back. Here we go. Okay, so well, we are out of diamonds. I don't think we have any more. Let's go check again. How many diamonds do we have? We have four because I was an idiot and made 43 diamond gears. So we're going to have to get the digital miner out and it's going to have to mine some more resources. And I will do that at the end at another episode, probably after this. I'll just set it up and start it running after. Okay, so see, this is like trying and it's failing. And there's engaging. This is a problem that I have got to figure out um, can I get another one of these? Okay. There, that's working. That's working. So all three of those are working now to make what we need. That's awesome. So um, over here, we could probably have enough. Do we have enough here to make the... It makes the Niotic Crystals. We know we have that recipe. We know the redstone thing. We haven't made a redstone recipe for the um, solar core. So we should probably go do that. Let's go grab... Um, for the solar core, we're trying to make these. We need signalum. We need HTP and niotic crystal. So let's grab each of those things that needs to be made. We need one sheet of this. Uh oh, I just hit the DPI switch on my thing. There we go. That's better. Okay. Um, we need to have HTP sheets. We need to have the solar things right there. Uh, we need to have signalum. So let's grab. Signalum, we need to have the solar core. We need to have uh, niotic, which is right now in that system down there. So let's grab one of these. Okay. I don't understand why this thing really messes up my inventory. This, this crafter, it's kind of weird. Anyway, we're going to make all of these and we're going to put it into the external line right here. We're going to put in the solar thing. It was, what was it? Signalum, signalum. HD, like that. See, it won't let me put them back in my inventory. And then, and we'll say, put that into there and apply. And that should do it. So it should have pretty much everything it's made, needs to make to make this signalum cores. 
here. We have that. We have no HDPE sheets. So let's take off one of the dirts and say we want to have that be this instead. Um, see, it's trying to bring in stuff here that we don't need. I want to put in a HTTP sheet. That's what we need right there. Okay, that'll work. Remember this layout. It should pull those in then as we need it. See, so you can slowly see it's going up with stuff here. And really, we need to have this be the exporter that's exporting to here. Oh, it's not even doing that. That would also work out really well. Let's go change that really quick. And so it shouldn't even need to put in dirt, which will be fine. We're almost done guys here we go we're saying export out of here we'll put in that and so these are all that's needed to make what we need for the these three recipes right so you can see it made four of the signalum solar cores that is awesome and those will be loaded into our system here in a second hopefully i didn't set it to import right say yeah I should import those out wonder why it's not importing this thing <laughs> refined storage is really wonky um not sure I like it anymore. I used to like it a lot, but it doesn't seem like it runs great anymore. I mean, it should just automatically import those, and it did. Okay, that works. So, um, I think let me take some coffee. Mm. I think we're close to getting some more solar. So, I think, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to do a sleeping. Oh, no, I can't take a screenshot with me sleeping. <laughs> anyway, I was going to do my sign out, guys. Hey, you know what? Hey, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.